In this video, we're going to learn how to find any note on the neck uh, using octaves. Okay, so if you don't know what octaves are, octaves are essentially um, two notes that are the same, but they are a distance apart. Okay, um, so we're going to start using uh, G as an example and find some G's using this octave technique. Um, so what's really helpful to begin with is if you already know the names of the notes on the thickest string, the A, the E string, and also uh, the notes on the A string, okay? And know all of them um, between the open string and the 12th fret, okay? And if you can sort of memorize that, that will go a really long way to helping you um, understand the fretboard. Uh, so what we can do from here, if we play the 3rd fret on the E string, that's our G note. I'm playing that with my 1st finger. Okay, so that's G. Okay, so to find the octave of that note, we have to go down 2 strings and up 2 frets. Okay, so that means I'm going down to the D string and then up 2 frets from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret. Now that note is also a G, but it is one octave higher. Okay, and this technique of finding an octave from the E string remains the same wherever you are on the guitar. So if I was to do the sixth fret, I'd go down two strings, up two frets, and there I have the octave of that note. Okay, right, so hopping back to the G, Here's our G. Okay, right, so if I put my first finger to the same note where my third one is, obviously I still have G. Um, now to find the next octave, again, I go down two strings, but this time I go up three frets. So I go one, two, three, um, and that's the eighth fret of the B string. So if I was to play both of those notes, I have two G notes again. Okay, right, so we've got one more G note in this area, and that is on the third fret of the E string, on the thinnest string. Okay, because both of these E strings are a mirror image of each other because they're both tuned to E. So I have two G notes here. Okay, so already we've managed to find a bunch of different notes, all the same note value, in the similar part of the guitar. We've got two here, two here, and then one here. Okay, so that's how we can use our E string as a guide to find um, octaves of a note. And we can use an A string as well. So uh, this time round, we are going to use C, the note C, as an example to find our notes. Um, so on the A string, the C note is on the third fret. So if I play that on my first finger, I've got the note C. So just like we did in the first example, we're gonna hop down two strings to the G string and move up two frets from the third fret. So that's the fifth fret of the G string. Now if I play both of those notes, you should be able to hear they are both a C note, both lower and higher. So no matter where I go on that A string, if I pick the 6th fret and then go down 2 strings and up 2 frets, you can hear that I've got that octave of that note. Okay, so we've got one more. If I then put my first finger where my third finger is, I've got a C note there, down two strings and up three frets. I've got my next C note on the E string. So that's C and C. Okay, so with this um, technique of finding the octaves on either the E or the A string, technically you should be able to find pretty much every note on the neck as long as you know the notes of the E and the A string.